Hi everyone, welcome back to Collaboration Simplified. In today's episode, we're going to discuss whether you actually need a desk phone in your office anymore. Things to make you go. Give a listen to what Toyota has to say in this clip. We were leveraging Microsoft Skype for calling and video capabilities, but once the pandemic hit, we knew we had to migrate swiftly from Skype to Teams. We actually deployed Teams to 40,000 people over a three week period. With Teams calling, we began questioning, why do we have physical phones on our desk? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Why do, why do we have physical phones on our desk. So we're eliminating the old physical phones, pulling those out of offices, just having one clear, succinct standard. We wow, interesting video from Toyota, right? And I can tell you, Toyota is not the only company that's thinking about moving away from desk phones. There are many customers that are now thinking about doing this. And really, you can thank COVID for this one, right? Because back in March of 2020, when everyone rushed to their home and got out of the offices, very few IT teams were able to give desk phones that were on in, in the office to their employees and say, yeah, take this home, connect it to your home network, and you'll be able to get dial tone, right? Many companies were not set up with that infrastructure, mainly because they had on-premise calling. If they had cloud calling, like Teams calling, maybe it would have been a different story. But we all just got used to basically using our PCs, right? using the applications on our iPhones and Android devices and also using our PCs for calling from applications like Teams or Jabber, but also from, from conferencing solutions like Teams meetings, WebEx, Zoom, and so on. And so over time, people started to either add a headset to their PC or just use a microphone and speakers on the PCs themselves. Now, we can also thank the vendors, right? Microsoft, Cisco, Zoom for really updating their software, adding noise suppression, adding a lot of great features so that it just allows you to be at home, also the virtual backgrounds, and not be worried about what you know your home office looks like or if there's noise, a barking dog, and all of that just kind of gets taken out. So by the way, check out my video about whether you actually even need a headset because of all this great technology like noise suppression built in inside Teams and some of the other products. So, do you really need a desk phone? I guess it depends, right? Like, I would say that for me, I'm kind of a minimalist. I like to do the most I can with the least. And for me, a headset is just, just fine, right? It gives me that mobility, allows me to move around, and also has um, noise suppression built into the, to the earpiece. But the, the phone itself, I can tell you that it's been a long time since I actually used a phone, like a traditional phone. The phones that, if you think about it, haven't changed in over 100 years, right? That form factor sitting on your desk with all the different buttons for mute and conference. I mean, I understand some people still use a phone, but do you really need to use that phone if you have much more stable applications like Microsoft Teams running on your PC. And oh, by the way, if for some reason your PC crashes, well, you also have Teams running on your iPhone. So you already have a natural backup. And these things work really well. Cloud calling has come a long way. And these applications have not only increased in terms of features, but functions. So to the point where companies like Toyota are looking at getting rid of all the desk phones. Now, there can be scenarios where you still need desk phones. I was talking to some of my technical specialist colleagues at Microsoft and they were like, well, sure, if you can just tell people, get rid of all your desk phones. Well, what if you're a contact center agent or in the retail space, people still need desk phones. So I'm not saying everyone in the world should just get rid of the desk phones. <laughs> There's definitely a place for them. But if your business is more traditional, you're in the office, when you start going back into the office, you're sitting at your desk, consider what Toyota and other customers around the world are doing. Maybe you don't need it. Maybe it'll be just fine with your PC and a headset. But just because you don't need a desk phone, I'm not suggesting you don't need any hardware. Obviously you need a laptop and possibly a headset, but 
you know, these vendors have come up with really phenomenal products in different form factors. For me personally, um, I like products like the one Dell just came out with. Hey, hey Cortana, open my calendar. Um, really nice display that I can use as a secondary display because my laptop screen just isn't large enough and I like to have two displays. It's got a high quality camera. It's got better speakers than my laptop has. It has a nice, nicer microphone. So, you know, these types of form factor products are great pro products that maybe in lieu of getting a desk phone, you can request something like that. Possibly a headset, a nice all-in-one monitor camera system like that. And there's other form factor products as well. So again, maybe the traditional phone is going away at work. It kind of went away at home, most people's home a long time ago. And we've moved on in the consumer world with iPhones and Android devices, right? But at work, I think it's about time for the traditional phone to go away for the most part. And then you can look at these different form factor products instead. So that's all I had. I hope you enjoyed this session. If you did enjoy it, please hit the like button. It definitely helps the channel. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed and you like this type of content. And I'll catch you on the next one.